To date, she has published more than 100 novels, short stories, nonfiction pieces, and she hasn't stopped. She is never at a loss for ideas. Ideas come to her with such ease and urgency that sometimes she might start a new novel when she's already in the middle of another one. If she hits an impasse, she turns to a different genre. Short stories, poems, plays, novellas, essays, book reviews, criticism, and lectures, one of which we are going to be fortunate enough to hear this evening. Is the uninspired life worth living? Which is an allusion to Plato's idea of, is the unexamined life worth living? And the implication is, no, the unexamined life is not worth living. I think that the uninspired life is a questionable life. But then what do we mean by inspiration and how does it come to us and how do we define it? So inspiration and obsession, I think the two are very closely related. There's a difference between them. My writing process is very much a matter of daydreaming and thinking, sort of thinking, looking out a window and walking and running. And I get ideas at some point that are visual, usually some visual memory or something I see. And it has a lot to do with walking and being out by myself meditating. If I can run, I can get some good ideas and it helps me write. If I can't run or walk, if I'm sort of sedentary, the writing is not as it's not as easy or as pleasurable.